Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in uh, today's video we are going to integrate Google Calendar with the Slack. I decided to create this video because it's 2023 and a couple of things have changed uh, on Zapier. It got some kind of facelift and you can get lost in it. So just to be sure, I'll create this very sought after video. So. First things first, we need to go to zapier.com and either log in into your account or create a new account. You'll get uh, the 14 or 30 days or free trial, so don't worry. And once we're in here on top left corner, we have this plus option of create a zap. I'm gonna click there. Still on top left corner, you can name your zap and I'm gonna do it. Let's go like calendar to Slack, just like that. And uh, we are going with the trigger. The trigger app, as you can see, this is the facelift, uh, facelift option. On the, on the right side, we have all the extra buttons that we are about to ignore. And we want to, and we want to write down calendar. The second option is Google Calendar, and that's what we are aiming for. Event, let's go with event start. But uh, obviously, you can pick from all of those. We hit continue. We are about to pick uh, the account, your Google account that uh, you are using. Doesn't have to be yours. It can be, obviously, the calendar or Google account of a company that you are using. We hit next, choose value, let's go like, uh, like, for example, like this, we hit continue and now we can test the trigger. We are aiming for all the green dots and all the green lights on uh, right side of, uh, of the column. So that's very important. We hit continue and automatically it will teleport us to the action. The action is Slack. We hit up the Slack and yet again, we have to pick an event then that we want to um, name an action, for example. So event starts in Google Calendar and it will add a reminder at Slack. We hit continue, yet we have to choose an account just like this. We hit continue and now we have to add a test text for example test event remind when let's go like this and we can hit the continue option test the action but i think yep my slack account expired but if you skip the test yes skip the test you can publish zap pretty easy easy easily <laughs> sorry for a little bit starter so that's about it guys Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.